You can just, those good Samaritans say they could not believe what they heard or saw. They say this is definitely something that will stick with them. And it was just so horrific. Um, yeah, it was horrible. And actually, like, that's the blood of the baby bear. Wrapping flowers and a teddy bear around this pole, neighbors in Brewery Town made this memorial. It's feet away from where 2020 Black Nissan landed upside down on a mother and her three-year-old child. Just heard um, really loud noise, sounded like a car accident, and then just heard screaming out on the street. Officials say this all unfolded Monday morning when Timothy Robinson hit another vehicle before he jumped a curb, went airborne, struck a building, bounced off it, and landed like this on two pedestrians. The crash caused people all along the 3000 block of Gerard Avenue to leave their homes and abandon their vehicles. I started shaking and crying because I was unsure what happened and then you could see um, the baby's legs just underneath the roof of the car and we started to push from the back. Despite their efforts, the toddler, John Johnson, later died at Temple University Hospital. Officials say his 27-year-old mother managed to free herself. We were just trying to be hopeful, but it was apparent that, you know, a baby, a three-year-old with a whole car on top. Firefighters used extraction tools to remove Robinson from the driver's seat. Tuesday, the district attorney announced a number of charges against him, including homicide by vehicle while DUI. In a statement, he said, my heart is broken for this child and for the family that now grieves such a terrible loss. Intoxicated driving is never okay, and this tragedy is why. It's devastating. It's heartbreaking. It's, it's the worst thing in the world. The DA went on to say his office will work to hold that driver accountable. He also says they are recommitting to confront traffic violence. We're live at the Roundhouse. Jasmine Pace.